Welcome back to part two of functions. My name is Dr. Suzanne Van Hove and I will be your instructor. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at IT operations management, specifically around the activities that are more of that day-to-day -day keeping the lights on, the very fundamental activities that are necessary for any service provider. So we'll look specifically at the objectives of IT operation management, the specific roles, and the management objectives, as well as organizational structure. Okay, so the role of the IT operations management, it really is the set of activities that is involved in that day-to-day -day operation of the infrastructure. We're gonna operate within the defined and agreed levels of a service, making sure that infrastructure is appropriately functioning. Um, we'll perform the management and maintenance activities that are necessary for the IT infrastructure. And then we'll execute activities and performance standards designed by service design. So remember when we created that service solution and the five aspects of service design. We had the service solution, the management system, then we had the technologies and architectures, and this is where the IT operation management team comes into play because it's going to tell us exactly what we need to be doing to ensure that newer change service is operating within the requirements. We're also looking at the stability and consistency of the infrastructure and, and making sure that it stays within the performance parameters. Now what's interesting about IT operation management is that it gets a lot of guidance from technical management and application management, and we'll see that in just a few minutes. But with that guidance will allow the IT operations team to ensure their monitoring activities and their ongoing management and maintenance activities will be at the level that's necessary for the service provider to deliver outcomes as expected by the business. Now there's multiple roles in IT operations. We have kind of two sub, sub processes here. We have IT operations control, and then we'll also have facilities management. IT operations control has numerous activities in it. For example, console management, where we're watching the enterprise system monitoring. Uh, we'll watch the performance of individual CIs. And then this is also the group that may be doing those more of a day-to-day -day activities of job scheduling, backing up and restoring activities, maybe performing print and output, so electronic as well as physical print output, and then also some maintenance activities. The other sub-process is facilities management, and we're looking here not only as managing that physical data center, we might be looking at consolidation projects, data center consolidation, uh, setting up of a continuity environment, and also contract management for data centers and the supporting services, perhaps HVAC, security contracts for physical access, uh, et cetera. So if we have outsourced a data center, again, underneath contract management. Um, the objective then for IT operation management, uh, it's shown to you on the slide, and as a direct quote, accepting responsibility for the ongoing management and maintenance. And I'm going to stop right there for a second. Again, it's referring back to that the IT operations control and facilities group here are to protect, manage, and maintain the infrastructure. It's providing and performing the management and maintenance activities that are necessary for good service delivery, necessary to ensure that the delivery of the service meets the agreed needs. Well, also about maintaining the status quo of the infrastructure for day-to-day -day operational stability. We'll provide support for the organizational processes and activities. We'll evaluate regularly our practices, looking for improvements, and also looking for cost savings, et cetera, why we still maintain the stability of the organization. We'll also provide input for um, diagnosis and resolving any IT operational failure that may occur. This organizational structure of the IT operations group is going to be closely tied to the technical and application management functions, and they will share uh, information, 
or they might share groups or be unique groups across the organization. So here's the organizational structure, a generic reference uh, and, a, and a fairly good diagram from uh, the Idle Library that we show the four functions, service desk, technical management, the IT operations management group, and the application management groups, and the subgroups underneath. It is on purpose that the technical management group and the application management group sit on top of the IT operation management teams because they will provide support scripts, activities, direction for those day-to-day -day keeping the lights on and maintaining that status quo of the infrastructure. The management roles within IT operations management, well, first of all, we'll have the IT operations manager, and they'll be responsible for the management of the IT ops activities. Makes sense. They will report to senior management. So that IT operation manager, same line as the technical manager, and the same line as what we'll see when we talk about application management, the application manager. We can have shift leaders because typically these IT operation management teams will be on site 24 seven. So the shift leaders, they may work extended hours and be responsible for the leadership control and decision making of the day-to-day -day activities that occur or the events that occur within that operational environment during their shift. They'll ensure that all operational activities are performed as directed, as scripted, as documented, and making sure that we keep the same quality level that's required. So we're talking time scales, funding, and also following the necessary policies. A shift leader will liaise with other shift leaders. Eventually one does have to go home and we will not always resolve all events or all issues on our shift. So therefore we have to have the smooth transition and good communication. The shift leader could also be the line manager for the operational analyst. Now, the IT operation analyst, another role, uh, tends to be a senior IT operations individual. And what their job is, is to determine the best way to perform the activities. And they would do that in conjunction with the technical management groups. So if we're doing backup and restores, talking to perhaps the server groups, the mainframe groups, the networking groups, et cetera, the storage and archiving groups to make sure that the procedures that are created are the most efficient and effective. The IT operator, they'll be doing the day-to-day -day operational activities. So that's the IT operations management group. We thank you for your attention and we'll see you in the next lesson.